In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use spreadsheets in Google Sheets to make dynamic, basically pricing packages that will do all the math for you and make it so much easier to brainstorm and come up with packages that make sense and make profit. So let's start by going to new Google Sheets and blank spreadsheet. I'm gonna name it pricing calculator. I can never type while I talk, calculator. Yes, okay. <laughs> Over here, I'm gonna name these two columns. This will be products and prices, all right? Now we're gonna turn this into a table and I'm gonna select maybe like however many products you offer or services you offer, we're gonna do that many rows roughly. Maybe add a few extras because you might think of some new ones. So select these like this and then go to right click and convert to table. All right, now in the table, it has a name so we can name this, I don't know, index because uh, this is where prices are going to come from. And over here, we're gonna make another table that will calculate the packages. And we can do multiple, which is the fun part. You can have different packages, you know, different tiered offerings. Um, so let's start with the products. Now I'm gonna do wedding photography. You can do anything you want, but I'm gonna do wedding photography. So first I'm gonna do one hour of coverage. Next, I'm gonna uh, do another um, uh, offering or add on of engagement photo shoot, a bridal, a 12 by 12 album, an eight by eight small album, and a second shooter, an assistant photographer. Now the prices for these is totally up to you, of course, but right now, currently, I do $400 an hour. Uh, engagements are about 400, bridal is 500, 12 by 12 uh, album is 600, this one is 450, and then a second shooter, I pay $100 an hour, and I normally only hire them for maybe five hours. So I'm gonna say budget $500 for a second shooter. And those are for, of course, longer, more elaborate weddings. Now over here is gonna be the actual calculating table, which we can plug in uh, quantities of any of these things, you know, however many hours and however many shoots, and it'll spit us out a price. Okay, now over here, we're gonna make our package uh, calculating table. So select your product names, control C, and then I'm gonna control shift V and paste them only as values. We just want the text. Okay, now we're gonna grab three columns, go down a few extra rows, right click and make it into a table. It's gonna look just like the other one. We can get it a different color if you wanna change the header color. There we go. And we can name this um, package calculator. And let's give the names to the columns so we know what's going on. These are products, obviously. This is gonna be quantity. We'll just type in a number like one, two, three, you know, certain things like that. And this, let's just call it sums because down here, we're gonna have a total uh, spot where it's gonna give us the price for this package. So let's do a little bit of math. It's gonna be kind of crazy up front, especially if you're new to this, but it'll save you a lot of work later and it'll do the math for you time and time and again. So let's get this started. So we're gonna click on the first sums field and we're gonna type in the number equals. That tells uh, Sheets as well as Microsoft Excel that you're talking about math equations and you're not just simply typing in text. So after we type in equal, we're gonna simply single click on quantity, which you can see it says E2. That is the location of this cell. It is column E, row two. Now type in the asterisk, which is for multiply and click on the price of your hour. And now if you press enter and you type in a quantity, say, I don't know, eight hours, that's $3,200 because it's multiplying eight by 400. Now, the cool thing about that equation is we can copy and paste that dynamically by clicking on this little blue dot and dragging downwards. It's going to put the same math equation, but it's going to change the cell. So this, this equation, if you click on the equation field, it tells you what cells are being used in that equation. So quantity of bridal times price of bridal. So down in the totals field, we're gonna type in equals uh, and then the word sum, S-U-M, open parentheses, click and drag all of these sums, even the empty ones, and then close parentheses, enter. So the package as it stands is just $3,200 with no add-ons, just eight hours. But for an eight hour wedding, I would definitely want uh, one second shooter, which is an additional $500. They usually want an album and an engagement shoot. So that is a $4,700 package with eight hours, an engagement, an album, and a second photographer. Now, if you want to add incentives for your customers to upgrade to higher packages, you might want to include an increasing percentage per package. So your very base package has no discount. It's just the math and the numbers, and that's what they're paying for. 
the medium package might have a 10% discount and your big package might have a 25% discount or whatever you want. So let's type in a discount here and add a discount field. And this is just gonna be a number like 20, which represents 20%. So to include a discount, we're gonna do a little bit more math. It's a little weird. We're gonna do a little math trick I figured out because I can't just make this into a percentage. It seems like a bug to me, but if you click on any cell within a table and make it say a percentage data, it makes all of them percentages, which we don't wanna do. So we're gonna keep this as a whole number of 20 but we're going to convert this into a decimal and it's going to fix a base guard total. It's going to take the discount out of it. Now click on your sums next to your discount. In your equation, click equals and we're going to do another sum, which is uh, open parentheses, all of these, close parentheses. Now we're going to multiply this by our percentage, which is 20, but we need to divide it. We need to divide it by 100. So open parentheses, uh, discount divided by 100 close parentheses, enter. There we go. So this is the uh, discount. It's 20% of all the stuff, 4,700. So 20% of that is 940. So we actually need to fix this totals down here so we're not adding up the discount because that's not how discounts work. So let's stop this at seven. There we go. So the total is only adding up these guys, but now we need to subtract our, to our sum of our discount. So click in your total do minus this discount sum, enter. There we go. So again, we are making our discount amount, all of these added minus this 20% using that little uh, math trick here, discount number divided by 100, which turns it into a decimal 0.2, right? Changes 20 into 0.2. And so this is the amount we're losing or giving away as an incentive. Then we subtract that from that 4,700 and we get the new total. So this is our package total right here of 3760. So once you've made a package, I'm actually gonna make a basic package with really like no add-ons, just the basics of four hours of coverage and no discount, $1,600. So once we have a package created, we can, we can select it. I'm gonna zoom out a little by holding control and turning my mouse wheel upwards. There we go. Uh, so you can control copy that and we can paste this. I'll do it right here. There we go. And I'm just pasting the values. If it doesn't do the values, tell it to by doing a little paste menu, paste values only. We don't want a table here. We just want the values. Now we can make the next level up, which is six hours with an engagement and a 10% discount, 25, 20. All right. So grab all of those, copy and paste it over here. Values only. There we go. We can name this small, me, oops, me, ah, medium, and then we'll do a large one. Eight hours with an engagement and uh, two albums, a second shooter, and a discount of 20%. 42, 40, they're saving $1,000. When they see that, that's going to be hard to turn that down. When they're getting their full wedding day covered with two albums and an engagement, for just over $4,000, maybe my prices are too cheap because I think it's a pretty good deal and they're saving $1,000 and they have a second shooter. So that's pretty great. So let's copy that, paste it over here, give it some space in between so you don't mix them up. And oh, I pasted it too high. There we go. Large package, all right. And uh, that's the basics of it. Now, some of you are probably really bothered because I did not include tax or travel. I know those are other variables, maybe for another video, but you do need to include sales tax and you need to consider your mileage you're driving for wedding. So because that's such a, you know, I can't really be included into a package. <laughs> that's that's a per job thing. So you need to figure out a way to calculate how much you need to charge per mile you know, there's also accommodations like hotel and stuff like that, but that's another video. So I am not including tax or mileage in this video. I just want to teach you how, how some really basic math equations can save you a lot of headache and allow you to be consistent with your pricing. So you're not just kind of guessing and, you know, your prices are all over the place. You need to have a system in place for what you charge, how much, and you need to know personally why. You don't always have to explain to your customer why you charge how much you charge because that's really none of their business. You're a business, you need to function, but you need to know why you charge and how much it is. And every year increases a little bit. As your equipment and your skills get better, increase your prices a little bit um, as you grow. But uh, there you go. That's how I come up with uh, most of my packages and it saved me a lot of trouble. 
Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, ask in the comments.